everybody, it's Emily and I'm back with another plan with me. I know it's been a while, I've been traveling the past couple of weekends, but this weekend I am in town and so I actually get a chance to film another video. So this week is the week of Monday, April 4th through Sunday, April 10th, the first full week of April. And I had a plan that I was going to do for this week, and then, like, two days ago I just decided to change it because I have these stickers that I really want to use that I got from the Kentucky Planner Lovers Meetup. I believe they're from Vintage Gypsy Road, don't quote me on that. I will check before I upload this, and I will make a note if it's from somebody else. But I have all of these little teacups and teapots and some macaron. And then I have these full boxes that are all pink, black, and white with these rose patterns and the matching boxes. So that's what I'm going to be using. The washi tape I'm going to use is this green one right here. And basically the reason I'm doing this is because the Lily Planner has this really pretty pink pattern for April and I love this flower that's right up here at the top of this week and I wanted to make sure that I was able to keep it. So I am doing a garden tea party theme, I suppose is what I'm going to be calling it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down my washi tape and I already went ahead and used my paper trimmer to cut it down to size. So I'm going to do that. I will speed this up and I will come back once I am done. Alright, so those are all down. Next thing that I'm going to put down are my checklist flags. And these are seconds from Rose Paper Party. They got cut all the way through, so I got them from her at a meetup. And they're not the same shade of green, but they're the only green checklist flags I had, so I'm going to go ahead and use them because the mismatched colors really isn't a huge deal to me. I know that that bothers a lot of people, but I don't know. There are just there are things that I'm obsessive about and there are things that I'm not and my checklist flags exactly matching is just not one of those things. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to move my two events. I only have two things really going on this week and they are both wedding themed. We are down into the last like two months of planning, which means that there are basically things happening constantly. So many wedding events. And it's fun, but it's getting to the point where I just can't make decisions anymore. Like I'm losing the ability to be interested in decision making. And as much as I love wedding planning, I am excited to be able to take a break from it in a few months because it's it's been a long process. It's going to be an awesome wedding though. I'm so excited. All right. So there are all of my checklist flags. So the next thing I'm going to do is as usual, I'm going to put down my weekly items. And so I need full boxes on Tuesday and Thursday for the classes that I teach and take. And so I think I'm going to use these pink ones. Uh, 
All right, so now that that's done, the only two things that I have left to do are to put up the books that I'm reading this week and then my reading and writing trackers. And so, let's see, normally I would put one of these on each side, but I really don't want to cover up that flower, so I think I'm just going to fit them both over on this side. And then I think for this week, I'm only going to track my writing because I've been doing really well with reading every day. And so I don't know that I necessarily need to track that one anymore. And so what I'm going to use for that, this is a freebie that I got from my most recent order from Panda Bird Designs. And she has this really pretty scallop um, habit tracker. I really hope she releases whole sheets of these because I want to order like a million of them. And so I'm going to use that and just put that up here and track my writing with it. I want to make sure that I line it up correctly. There we go. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. I really hope she releases those. Okay, so next thing I want to do is put down some of my full boxes so I don't forget about them. I want to use mostly some of these ones. I'm going to use this really pale pretty one over here on Monday. Actually no, I'm going to put a quote on Monday because I have a number of things happen because I have a number of things happening on Wednesday and I won't have space for it, but I have a lot of free time on Monday. So I'll put that over there. And I also want to use this black one, so I'll put that on Friday. And then I want to use another one on Sunday. So I think I'll use this one up here. So that still leaves me three left over. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but there they are. All right. So those are all down. So now I can start putting in the things that are happening this week. And there's really not a whole lot going on, which is weird. But I'll put in the things that are happening. So, like I said, on Monday, I'm actually going to do my... I'm going to go really out of order. I don't know why I'm going so out of order this week. It's, this is just going to be kind of a weird one. But for this week, I'm going to use this quote from the one of the sheets from the Mombi sticker book, the old one, not the most recent, that says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. I think it's really pretty. I've been wanting to use this quote for a while. And it needs to overlap the washi tape just a little bit. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I really like that. Okay, so there's really nothing happening on Tuesday as far as I know. Wednesday, I have my hair and makeup trial for the wedding. So I want to use one of the darker boxes so that it contrasts a bit with that one. So, and that's the big event that's going on. So I'll just put that down. And then I am also going to be getting ice cream with a friend of mine from my program. So I think I'll use this box to mark down that and I'll see if I have an ice cream sticker anywhere. So that's good. Thursday, nothing is happening. Friday, nothing is happening. The only thing that's going on really for the rest of the week is on Sunday when I'm meeting with our priest to do our final marriage prep thing. We have to go over, I'm, I'm Catholic, we're having a Catholic wedding. So we have to go over the focus inventory, which we both filled out independently and just compare our answers and see if there's areas that we need to talk about, things like that. And then we also need to go over the program for the ceremony. And so we're Skyping Joe in because he cannot come all the way out here for that. So he'll just be Skyped in. And we will get all of that taken care of. And then the ceremony we set, we can send our readings to our readers. They've been asking about them and I feel really bad because I don't have them yet. But everything will get figured out. It's all gonna be fine. So that goes over there. And then I really think that's everything that's really happening this week. 
So next things I want to put in, I'm going to put in my TV shows. And I think I'll start with these dark pink ones. Almost out of these. I'm trying to use up the whole sheet. I love them and I will probably reorder them at some point. So I have a show on Tuesday. Show on Thursday and a show on Sunday. So I'm going to use this green for Sunday. Perfect. And so then just to mark that this is something that's happening at the church, I'm going to use one of these really pretty church stickers from Hello Ashley Ann. And I think I'm going to use this pink. Okay, perfect. So what else do I need to mark? Well, I'm going to add, so to my hair and makeup trial, I'm going to use one of these little circles from Panda Bird Designs so that I can write down the time when this is happening. And so that'll go right on there. And then I think that's it for now. This week will probably get more filled in as it goes by, but for now, this is what it's going to look like. Now I just need to add in a couple of little icons. Do I have any bills due this week? I have one bill due on Friday. And that should be it. Then I need to do laundry on Friday. So these I got in a, um, in a, give, in a giveaway from Carolina's Crafts. And so I'm trying to use some of them. They're really, really cute. So I'm going to use this little basket of clothes to mark that I need to do laundry. I'll just put that, put that in the second. Now I'm going to put it back at the bottom where I usually put laundry. And I'm also going to use the little grocery bag to mark that I need to get groceries on Monday. And I think that was all the things that I needed to use from this. Yep, that's everything from that. And so I think basically at this point, I can just do some decorating. So this is gonna be a very short plan with me because there's just not a whole lot going on this week. But I'm gonna go ahead and put down some of these teacups and I will be right back. Okay, and so that is it for this week. I know this was really short. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. I will link the shops I use down below. And if you liked this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I will post another video next week, and next week is going to be my Doctor Who themed week. So I'm also really excited for that one. But thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.